Hi, welcome to part, hi Patriots, welcome to part three of the Whipke, walking on the Whipke Ridge Trail again. Probably what I'll call it. This is a beautiful place here. I'll, I'll zoom into that beautiful field. Yeah, there's nothing like being out in America. And uh, like I told you guys, I, I jog these trails all the time. And so I moved to, to Greene County from Fayette County. So that's why I walk in Fayette County a lot. It's because I used to live in Fayette County and I, my, I, I revisit Fayette County because my, my kids from both marriages are there. And uh, this is a, this isn't a hill, so I won't be breathing as hard. <laughs> but breathing is a big part of walking, so you gotta breathe, get the oxygen flowing, get the blood flowing. You know, I'll talk about a little bit about health and a little bit more about what, how, when 9/11 happened, it changed my life and everybody else's life in this country. Yeah, 9-11 was definitely a high water mark of our republic. And unfortunately because of because of being attacked, they're taking our freedoms away. I believe it was Madison that said freedom will be Freedom will be taken away from the American people under the guise of a war. So in other words, they use war to take our freedoms away. And if you think about it, we have lost so much freedom because of that 9-11. So let's get back to my life. Like I was saying out on the road the other day, I was, I was Mr. Mom when 9/11 happened. So, I, uh, sorry, <laughs> I, uh, I couldn't do anything, and like I said, I quoted myself being a patriotic lion, and basically that's what I'm trying to do is to motivate people to become patriotic lions. We can't be sheep. We can't sit, be quiet as they take away our freedoms and use safety as the reason they're taking our freedoms away. But anyways, yeah, I couldn't do anything. I had to be the solid rock for my children and be Mr. Mom. You know, I had to be dad and mom. And uh, isn't that beautiful? So I uh, couldn't do anything. And like I said, I was too old to join anyway. So during the time I was Mr. Mom, being the rock for my children, I was a football coach, baseball coach, cheerleader, mom, <laughs> and uh, for two of my children. And uh, my, I have an older daughter from my first marriage. And uh, I was basically trying to impress my daughter too. She was a senior in high school when I started walking. But anyways, let's get back to the, so the, for the first, the kids went back to live with their mom. And uh, so then I knew it was time for me to do something. And like I said, I collected all those Patriots on, on myspace.com. It was like football cards. <laughs> it's like when I was a kid, I collected football cards, but now I was collecting American Patriots. So I, uh, like I said, one, I, I kept thinking of stuff to do. I didn't know what I was going to do. And then when I found out my congressman, John Murtha, a former Marine, and I know Marines are always Marines, and, and uh, but I call him a former Marine because he put 13 Marines in jail for the Battle of Haditha. 
and he took the word of the enemy and he you know here are poor marines in jail and i couldn't take it i wanted that's when i picked the flag up and then i said this is it i'm walking for the troops and uh this is the answer i was looking for to inspire people and it was and it has been and it always will be i'll never stop walking until they pass a law like i said they probably will pass a law that we can't walk on the highways with the flag they already there already is a law that we can't walk on the uh interstates i found out the hard way i was going to walk from waynesburg to morgantown or walk in between there to see how far i could do and go back you know and uh state policeman came up he's like what are you doing i'm like i'm walking to morgantown or seeing how far i can go and he said didn't you see the sign you're not allowed to walk on the interstate i'm like you gotta be kidding me i thought we were free from see the shining see the shining sea and he said no sir not on the interstate so he was nice and took me back and i did my 10 miles on route 21 but uh so yeah so they already have a law we can't walk on the interstate so they could easily pass a law that we can't walk on the roads and if they did we'd have to pay uh insurance to walk on the road but anyways <laughs> uh so i've been walking all this time just to show the world and the country that men from west southwestern pennsylvania love our troops and we're patriotic Americans. Get up and fight for the freedom of speech. And I'll see you in the next segment of this cool video. Bye.